Hey guys, welcome to the shop. You know, I figure while I've got the rear end out from under this truck, and seeing as I'm gonna be putting a brand new set of used leaf springs under this thing that have 25 or 35 year old bushings in them, we might as well go ahead and replace on those. This is a set of Hyperflex polyurethane bushings that I've had for probably 20 years and haven't installed yet. So let's see if we can't get those changed out. <laughs> uh, they're never easy. Maybe even paint them a bit before we stick the rear end up under this thing. So obviously I've already got the old axle leaf springs out from under this truck. They were completely shot, almost wore in two in some places. So it, this thing definitely needed a set of springs. Now getting the bolts out of these leaf springs, man, that was a absolute battle. I can't say that I've ever, you know, had a good experience changing leaf springs, but after some magic words, you know, an hour probably on each heating beating, they finally come out, which is nice. So I didn't have to cut one, which was surprising. Let me show you these old springs, new used springs that we're gonna be putting under this thing. You'll see, they do need some bushings and hopefully this goes smoothly. We'll see. So there's a look at the old bushing. You can see the inner sleeve, the rubber bushing, and then the outer ring. So we need to remove all of that, including that outer ring. So here's our first attempt, and this is probably the way that the majority of folks out there would do it. This is just a ball joint press, because I understand a lot of people don't have a 50-ton press and a torch and all the other stuff, but a lot of people could go pick up one of these. I got this from Harbor Freight, and it's been a great little tool. So you can use it for all sorts of things. They're extremely stout. So we just got our spacer and a washer about the size of the metal bushing, and hopefully we'll be able to press this out. But I don't know. We'll find out. She's tight. I think we got it moving. So you can see I got that bushing halfway pressed out. Just wanted to show that you can do this with very simple tools. It's a ball joint press from Harbor Freight, right? Give you a super nice forearm workout, but you don't have to have an impact. You don't have to have a torch. You don't have to have a press. Just a big C-clamp used for ball joints, you know, is, is sufficient. Now, there's lots of ways to get these out. This is just one, but this is probably the simplest way. Bushing out. So I got these springs pretty much cleaned up and all I did was use a Brillo pad, scuff them up really good, wire brushed them, got all the loose goo off of them. These have been coated previously. These come out of an old military truck, so whatever coating they have on them is pretty good. It's just chipped up in some spots and all I'm trying to do is freshen these things up. I'm not trying to remove that old coating, because why, right? What we're going to be painting them with is a semi-gloss black Rust-Oleum. It's good stuff. So I'm going to finish you know, prepping these, then we'll spray some paint on them, let that dry, and shove the bushings in, then maybe get them on the truck. So the springs are painted, they look plenty good. We're gonna coat the insides of these eyelets with the grease that came with our bushings and they should, they should just slide in by hand for the most part. They're a lot easier to install the new ones than take out the old ones, that's for sure. And I'm assuming this grease is just to keep these things from squeaking.
So because I know that I'll be the next guy taking this thing apart, or most likely anyway, I'm coating these leaf spring bolts with some, some of this Blue Molly anti-seas, and this old hardware is not in great shape. But, you know, I didn't order any new, so we'll use these for now. And this will just make them, in the future, hopefully come off of there. Come on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you better not scratch my cup at all. <laughs> she will in three <laughs> seconds. Come here, Bobby. Hi, little guy. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Hey, Chloe. Oh. Are you taking my bushing <laughs> grease, Bobby? Oh, Chloe's so good. Bobby. She's aggravated at me because I'm petting Chloe. Oh, Chloe's so good. Look at her. She's the best dog. Oh, Chloe's. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, I'll do it. Chloe's so good. I'll out. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah. Quack. <laughs> Chloe's the best Bobby. dog. Bobby, be nice. Who can't handle me petting her? Or anybody petting her, to be honest. Gotta pet him. So if you would, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get all this dog hair off me. And then I'm going to lift. I know, it's impossible. Having a collie is, uh, I don't know. They're great dogs, but man, they're hairy. I'm going to hold those leaf springs up, and I want you to just slide the bolts in, if you would, please. Now where is the One bolt's going to go in here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put it, hold this up here like this first. We'll put that bolt in. So. Yep. And then. Yeah, that's the only way. We'll do the other it. one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, these are quite heavy. good enough. Now let's do this front one. This one's going to be tougher. You got I may have to do this one with a jack actually. Those dogs are having a field day out there. Let's see, that's gotta go. This looks new to me. I don't know what. New? Yeah, these brackets, I guess, where you painted them. Yeah. Um, no, they've been there the whole time. You gonna try to do it by yourself? I am going to try. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Jam it there and wedge it so we can get that bolt in there. Yeah. 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 A little bit of hammer and bump it through there. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Now run that back one through. There we go, that's one side. Now I'll put the uh, those nuts on the bolts and we'll do the other side. This stuff come off my hand? Uh, it does, but it doesn't come off real easy. It's out of my hand from here. Yeah. Welcome to the Blue Molly Club. <laughs> So if you would, zoom your eyes down on these bushings real quick, and you can see just how bad these were. So definitely do for replacement. And these modern polyurethane bushings are just better. 
all around than these old bushings. So hopefully the rig will ride better with those new polyurethane bushings and you know, we'll get better performance. So that's why we changed them because they were definitely bad. <laughs> all right guys, that's it. Just a simple video on leaf spring bushings or any bushing for that matter, cartridge bushing. Those ball joint presses are really neat. They're affordable. They're a great way to press these out if you don't own a big press or you know, don't feel like using an air hammer or burning them out. So there you go, worked out really well. And uh, <laughs> huge thanks to my assistant for helping me get these on. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.